After enough nudging from Chris of NizTech Lifts, we finally get out to Colorado for some good old Colorado wheeling. On this trail review, we check out Chinaman's Gulch. Okay, so right off the bat, this trail gets after it. Got that nice easy road at the beginning and then right into obstacles that look like this. Pretty good so far. Let us know in the comments below if you've ever run this trail before, and what trails you'd like us to do a trail review of in the future. Be sure to watch this video all the way to the end to catch all the trail fail clips. Okay, so we are about a third of the way down the trail and so far it is amazing. As you can see, there's been a few sections that have had smooth fire roads and most of the parts are pretty much rock crawling boulders the size of at least 31 inch tires and it has just been a blast. The shorter wheelbase trucks haven't had too much issue. The Tacoma that's with us with the longer wheelbase had to do a little work to get through a couple S-turn type spots but besides that hasn't been too bad definitely not a stock friendly trail though As we finish the in and out portion of the trail and start the loop portion of the trail, we stop in a nice shady spot to have some lunch. All right, we're here at a little optional obstacle. They call it the playground. Let's go see how it goes.
All right, we're out here on Chinaman's Gulch. This is the, one of the major obstacles. It's called the whale tail. And of course, we've got a drizzle of rain right now, so we get to run it slick. But uh, here we go, Xterra knocking it out. All right, after you get past Whale Tail, you go through this cool section where we're basically at the bottom of a ravine. And uh, it's just, you're down in the trees, real tight. Really a lot of diversity in this trail, it's super cool. All right, next little section, this is by Passable. They call it the playground, I guess. And um, kind of fun, you can just toy around. There's a few little lips, kind of the further to the left you go, the harder it gets. Continues to be a great trail. All right, we're on the last major obstacle of the trail. I don't think it's officially named, but we decided it's Big Wedgie Diff Grabber CV Breaker. Uh, it's kind of, it grabs your rear diff. You gotta basically be shifted off to one side or the other, and it's just super tight. So um, it's interesting, that's for sure. Behind me is a Tacoma on 35s going through it right now. So as they say, climbing down the mountain is still climbing the mountain. On the way down, it's not too bad, but there's a few little ones here like this one. You still have to pay attention to them.
All right, this trail runs as an in, a loop, and then back out the portion you came in. So we just finished the loop. We're about to head back down the portion we came in. Everybody saw that footage earlier, so you have an idea what that looks like. So I'm gonna give the closing here. We got together and we think the real world rating on this trail is between three and 3.5. With an experienced driver, if you took the bypasses, you could probably run this trail on 33s, armor, and a rear locker. That being said, we most of us are running 35s and locker front and back. We have a Tacoma with us. We have a FJ, a second gen Xterra. We have the Rogue Overland Xterra with the solid axle swap, a third gen Forerunner, a Nissan Frontier. So most of us were taking at least the middle option as far as how difficult the options could be and just being a little selectable with that front locker and and that's how we got through so hope you like this video if you do hit the subscribe button to the channel be sure to find us on all social media avenues at rogue overland i want to give a big thanks to chris at niztech lifts played tour guide for us today today definitely check them out for all of your nissan off-road needs we'll see you on the trail